For the past six months, I challenged myself to get my hair in the best condition possible. My goal was to have my gray hair fully grown out by my second year anniversary of ditching the dye. And I did get pretty close. I think I was shy by a couple of months. So let me share my five steps to healthier hair. I do believe that just like with skincare, um, keeping a hair care routine simple is best because that way you can see what really is working for you and what's not. So I was really happy to see that when I'd added these two new products to my hair routine, I was seeing a big improvement in my hair health. So let me share with you my routine. I think the best thing to do is determine what kind of hair and scalp type you have and find a shampoo that suits you. Now, for me, I've always had more of a drier, drier hair and scalp, so I always tend to stick with richer products. Now, another thing that I do is I rotate my my shampoos throughout the month all right so for the first shampoo that i tested out this year is a purple shampoo it's called the germac uh, silver brightening ageless shampoo and i actually replaced swapped out the shimmering lights with this one this this go around and i've used shimmering lights forever and i really like it uh, this one does seem like it's a little bit more hydrating the next shampoo I use is a clarifying shampoo, and I also have a couple here, uh, and I just finished off the, I, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this, Way um, Detox Shampoo, and this one, I really, really liked it, as well as the Aveeno Apple Cider Vinegar Blend. And so I would say these are both very comparable. I do really only uh, clarify my my hair once a month, and that's really been working for me. It doesn't seem like I need to do it any more than that. I find that with both of these products, it really does make my hair feel very, very clean, shiny, and it doesn't make it feel stripped at all. And then the next one is the K18 uh, Peptide Prep. I started hearing more and more about the importance of having hair products that are at the proper pH level. And so for this, it is at 4.5 to 5.5. And so what this claims to do is to prevent excess swelling of the hair cuticle. It helps reduce frizz and maintain health and shine. And I really have liked this product and I do plan on repurchasing it. And then the next one is the Oribe, and I got the little mini. Uh, this one, it does have a little bit stronger of a fragrance, and it lathers really, really well. My hair always feels super clean after, after using it. And I do feel like my hair looks super shiny and soft afterwards, so I really did like this product it is on the pricier side so i think if i were to repurchase this or try maybe some of the other um, orbe products i would continue maybe buying the little minis as far as conditioners i did you know have the set here so for the germac they've also got a conditioner again i think it is a little bit more moisturizing than the shimmering lights and then the uh, Oribe uh, conditioner, I did feel that it was it was rich. With me, however, I do feel like I need a little bit more more um, moisture for my my drier hair. So I tend to reach more for masks. So speaking of masks, the ones that I tried out this year were the Briogeo uh, Don't Despair Repair. Now this one I would say is a little bit on the lighter side. It's still very, very conditioning, but it's a little bit lighter than the Amica The Cure. This one is probably my, my favorite because it is very, very rich and buttery. I really enjoyed it so much 
that I am going to get Amika the Cure shampoo and see see if I really like that one. That also is pH balanced. So the shampoo is at 4.75 to 5.25 and the conditioner is at 3.0 to 4.0. So I'm I'm excited to test that one out. Another mask that I I've always really, really liked, and it's very, very affordable. I get it on Amazon, and I do have it linked in the description box below, but I can't seem to find it. So it's a coconut product, so I will I will have that linked down below as well. I generally will wash my hair once a week. So within a month's time, I will have toned my hair one week, clarified it one week, and then used a couple of different products that are pH balance. I always feel like I have a fresh new head of hair and I contribute that to, you know, improving the quality of my of my products that I've been using. Please leave in the comments what your ride or die hair care products are. My goal this year is to build a very solid, strong community with my channel. So my promise to you is always to provide you with the best quality of information that I can. But I am going to need your help. By liking, subscribing, uh, sharing my videos, leaving comments, that really does help my, my channel grow. And you really will be helping me grow not just my community, but our community. So I do want to thank you for your support. I just recently discovered the importance of leave-in conditioner. I had no idea that the moisture that we add with, with our conditioners or masks or whatever, that moisture actually leaches out of our hair over time. You need to lock in that moisture with a leave-in conditioner for your mids, and then maybe a, a hair oil for the ends of your hair. So the product that I have been using, and I really, really like it, is the Kendra uh, Daily Provision. It's so light. It feels like you're just dampening your hair with water. It it doesn't it doesn't weigh it down or make it sticky or anything like that. And I have really been trying to be a little bit more liberal with it, making sure I get all of my hair. Now, another leave-in conditioner that I used was the Purology uh, Color Fanatic. And this one, I just wasn't using it right. So, basically, I was using it, you know, after I washed and, and conditioned my hair. But it, I was also using it throughout the week. And when I did that, I did not like the way my hair fe felt afterwards. It did change, it made it feel bad. So this is a great leave-in conditioner, but, but I would use it like I would use this one. It's just right after you shampoo and condition your hair. For my ends, I would then add a little bit of of oil and I would add this after I blow dry my hair. Once I do that, I would add a couple of drops and I get these from The Ordinary and one is the Plant Derived Squalane, the other is uh, Organic Cold Press Moroccan Argan Oil. And I would put in like two drops in my hand and really rub my hands together and then just go up like this on my ends and then maybe just just down basically right about here the your ends and a little bit up if you feel like you need to tame anything but you really want to use this sparingly because now that you've got a fresh clean head of hair you don't want to weigh it down with a lot of, of oil and this really like I said two drops is is plenty for me if I do start noticing that my ends are feeling a little bit dry throughout the week, I might then add a couple more, you know, drops of oil to the ends. I do blow dry my hair. So I use a blow dryer cream. I'll use either the Olaplex uh, Bond Smoother or this Suave uh, Sleek Anti-Frizz. And when adding this, again, it's adding a little bit of moisture while you're blow drying your hair. It protects against the heat. 
uh, helps with frizz and it really does help you create a nice smooth shiny finish to your hair. So with both the leave-in conditioner as well as the blow dry creams, um, they add heat protection for a blow dryer. But when we start using our curling irons or our flat irons, now we're talking a lot more heat. So the heat protector I really have enjoyed using is the Tresemme Heat ta uh, tam Tamer Spray. And this one, it offers protection up to 450 degrees. I absolutely love this. It, again, is so light. You want to use a heat protector every time you curl your hair. And like I say, I, you know, I wash my hair once a week. So if I'm styling my hair, you know, three or four times a week, I need, if I'm styling it with a curling iron, I need to use this. And I never experience my hair feeling dirty or weighed down or anything. And um, I, I really recommend this product. All right. Now for the products that have really, really made a difference in my hair recently. I have been using the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. And don't let the price of this scare you off. Again, I use the little mini size. Initially, they say they want you to use it four to five times to really get your hair re rebuilt and, and reestablished. But after that, you could then just use it maybe once a month or however often you need it, just depending on what you're putting your hair through. So this little guy can really last you a long time. One thing with this, and I will tell you exactly how I use it, but I only use two squirts per side so four squirts total and when you squirt it in your hand it looks like nothing I mean seriously it's barely there so what I'll do is I'll you want to shampoo your hair and squeeze out as much uh, water as you can then what you want to do is put this on and what I'll do is put two squirts on, rub it all on my hands, and then just really focus on the areas that are the most damaged and the ends and go like this and just really get it on in there. It's a consistency like you don't feel like you're putting on anything. It's that little of an amount. And then I do it on the other side. So four squirts in, in total. Then I'll take like uh, my... Um, my microfiber towel and put it up so that it's not getting any water on my hair and you let it set for four minutes after that you can go ahead and put your conditioner in and just you know go as usual you put your conditioner in and then and then rinse it out and and that's fine one thing that a lot of people weren't liking the way this was making them their hair feel because they were using so much so i i do recommend you use it that way the next product is this living proof triple bond complex and this one again i started with a little mini but before i even ran out i had already purchased this one because i knew i'm like i don't want to be without it this one i felt an immediate difference the very first time I used it and with this one it says that it's a leave-in treatment that restructures damaged hair and makes it eight times stronger smoother and shinier provides 450 degrees of heat protection so then that would be suitable for both a blow dryer and a curling iron or a flat iron and it also says that you want to actually use heat to style your hair um, and that is music to my ears because my hair's crazy like on the top it seems like it's the flattest you know the straightest and then in and amongst this gets really curly degrees of wave to curl to ringlets and then of course we can't forget my frizzy spots so I really do like to just blow dry all of that stuff nice and smooth this the way you use this is after you shampoo and condition your hair 
you are then going to want to with you know not wet dripping hair kind of after it's been a little bit towel dried go ahead and apply again very very little i apply one to maybe two just depending but about one pump for for all my hair and again i just get it all over my hands and then scrunch it in just like i did the other and then work it through they want you to have that in your hair for 10 minutes and i'll actually comb through and get my hair nice and smooth but you want it by itself for 10 minutes after that then you can use whatever other styling products that that you might you know that you use but i really have noticed that my hair just feels and looks so healthy so i have left links in the description box below for all of these products if you are interested in trying them out and I'm happy to say that my hair's been, you know, shinier, less frizzy, less dry. And it seems like it's really growing a lot faster than it was before. So those are all signs that the health of my hair has improved. Another way to see if you have breakage and if you're causing breakage is if you actually brush your hair over like a white surface and if you see like pieces of hair that's breakage now if you have a long strand then that's shedding and that's normal but if you have a lot of little pieces and they'll all be different sizes what that is 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 you brushed your hair and there was a break there and that end just came off so if you're seeing that then you might want to see what you're doing that may be causing this breakage. So please check out this next video if you are experiencing hair breakage. And I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.